Everyone's talking about the next big operating system, but here's the thing. We're looking at two completely different visions. I've been diving deep into Warmwind OS and Google Fuchsia, and honestly, they couldn't be more different. Let me start with Warmwind OS because this one's wild. It's not really an operating system. It's more like hiring an AI employee that never sleeps. Think of it as a cloud platform that runs your workflows for you. Literally clicking through applications, handling tasks, managing your CI CD pipelines. The crazy part? You can shut down your laptop and it keeps working. Here's what surprised me it actually feels like having a digital assistant that understands context. You're creating what they call autonomous cloud employees that navigate complex workflows across different software interfaces. The learning curve is surprisingly gentle for something this powerful. But here's the catch it's currently in closed beta, so you can't just sign up and start using it. Plus, we don't have solid pricing yet which always makes me nervous. The biggest complaint from early users is that it sometimes feels too autonomous, like you're losing control of your own processes. Now, Google Fuchsia is a completely different beast. This is Google's experimental operating system built from scratch with a custom kernel called Zircon. It's designed to work across everything from smartphones to smart home devices, and it's actually running on some Google Nest hubs right now. What makes Fuchsia interesting is its security model and microkernel architecture that's supposed to be more secure and efficient. The interface is built with Flutter, which means it can theoretically run the same apps across different device types seamlessly. Here's where it gets weird, though. Google has been incredibly quiet about Fuchsia's future. They've actually discontinued efforts to bring Chrome browser to it, which makes you wonder about their long-term commitment. The honest truth? These aren't really competing products. Warmwind is targeting businesses that want to automate workflows without complex integrations. Fuchsia is Google's long-term bet on unified computing, but it's still very much an experiment. If you're a business owner drowning in manual processes, Warmwind could be a game changer. If you're a developer interested in the future of computing, Fuchsia is fascinating to watch, but don't expect to install it on your laptop anytime soon. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the most talked about tools side by side every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the latest comparison here, or dive into the playlist if you're still deciding. But I'm curious, which one would you pick? Got a favorite? Drop it in the comments. I'm always curious what real users think.